Can you help me with Hampton Bay air conditioner troubleshooting? I can understand why, since it is not nearly as easy to find advice on, SA train or American standard. So what do I do with it not cooling down the house enough? If the thing is not cold enough, the first thing I check is the air filter. If that's dirty enough to block airflow, it won't get enough airflow to push chilled air out to your house. The air filter may be hosed down once or twice, but replacing it is the best solution, especially since I'll have to take it out to clean it well anyway. Your condenser is like a radiator, and the condenser coils need to be clean enough to actually radiate heat out to cool down the house. I hardly ever clean the house. I never thought I'd need to clean the condenser coils. The other possibility is that the condenser coils have a leak. That's more likely with today's models because the eco-friendly refrigerant runs at much higher pressure than Freon. While they use thinner coils to improve heat exchange and save money. Until they need to be replaced. That does not cost the manufacturer anything. I know Amana and Goodman actually have a class action lawsuit regarding that actual problem. Except for the warranty. Warranties cover manufacturing defects, not anything they can blame on the installer or lack of maintenance. And warranties never cover the cost of adding refrigerant anymore. What if it is a control board? You can try turning it off and back on to essentially reboot the unit's control board. Then again, the temperature sensor in the thermostat could be broken and say everything is fine when it is not. The thermostat is already set low, and before you ask, yes I've made sure it is actually set to cool, not just turned to 60. Hampton Bay air conditioners could have the fan blowing even though the compressor has died. You should turn it off though, before checking for burned out electrical connections or installing a starter cap kit. That's basically a new starter capacitor. If the starter cap is dead, the thing won't start. Then again, if the circuit breaker went off, you'll either need to replace the fuse or reset your breaker. We have had brownouts due to the high utility load. Hampton Bay air conditioners may not start immediately after a brownout or blackout. Turn it off, wait 3 minutes, then restart it so the compressor overload doesn't get tripped. At least that's a free thing to try, before calling someone out to recharge the refrigerant and start replacing several hundred dollar parts.